Hello, <laughs> Hi, welcome back, everyone. We're playing Phoenix Wright, East Attorney, blind. Well, I I know what's gonna happen, but Cameron does not, which makes it blind because he's playing right now, and he has to solve all the little mysteries and all that. So, <laughs> we, we let, what do we remember from the last one? We went to trial. We got to see Miles Edgeworth. Uh, the judge is being somewhat competent, and Miss May is being suspicious, but she, she claims that she never went to the office and that she was in the hotel room. And the bus boy, the bellboy can vouch for her, so Cameron has a decision to make. If he wants to call on the bus boy, but fuck, the bus boy? <laughs> the bellboy is a witness or continue examining Miss May. It's up to you. You had some time to think. I'm calling on him as a witness. <laughs> The defense would like to call the, the hotel bellboy as a witness. There's something suspicious here and I'm going to get to the bottom of it. <laughs> you can get to the bottom of me. I think you're sunken low enough already! I object to calling the bellboy. Fuck you! I mean, why? What's your reason? Because I hold that the wiretapping had nothing to do with the killer. <gasps> However... If you agree to one condition, I'll consent to calling this witness. Condition? Is it to sleep with you? I'm sorry, what, what's the condition? <laughs> if Miss April May's alibi is not called into question after you examine the bellboy, then you will recognize that Miss April May was not the killer, thus she is innocent. Okay. And thereby, you must also accept the verdict of guilty uh... for Miss Maya Fett. <laughs> that is my condition. What?! <laughs> I better up. Uh, I better find something suspicious out of the bellboy's testimony. Otherwise, Maya will be, be declared guilty on the spot. What should I do? <laughs> give up. <laughs> Part of me wants to give up. No, you can't give up now. I, I feel like this is a this is a good plot point. I gotta accept the condition. Yeah, yeah this is this is me as uh, what is it called? Canon event. Yeah. <laughs> Almost getting arrested. <laughs> All right, I got nothing to lose, except for, well, everything. Understood. I accept your condition. Hmm. Fool. You fell right into my trap. Uh-oh. Can I, can I fall into it again? I mean, oh, wait, wait. <laughs> Very well. The court calls the hotel bellboy to the stand. I think I made him British. Fuck. <laughs> I believe we're ready for the witness to testify. He certainly does look like a bellboy. <laughs> he still got the tray. <laughs> yes, sir. I received your summons in the middle of work, sir. I'm happy to be a circus. <laughs> that tea suit looks rather heavy, so without further ado, the witness may begin his testimony. I want a tea set like that. That's beautiful. Very good, sir. Do my do Sage tell me if I'm doing a good British accent? <laughs> I get a hate. I get a pipe bomb sent to the mail. <laughs> I'm the head bellboy of the fine Gatewater Hotel, in business for four generations. Objection! <laughs> <laughs> Objection! I'm relevant! <laughs> I believe I received a call at, after 8 o'clock in the evening from our guest, Miss May. She asked for an iced coffee to be brought to her at 9 on the dot, sir. I brought it to her at precisely the requested time. He's like, Dude, he's eyeing her tits and at that line of sight. <laughs> if we draw a dot. <laughs> <laughs> and I delivered the iced coffee to our guest, Miss May herself. I see. The defense may begin its cross-examination. Hang on, I'm, g I'm gonna need a second before Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, we haven't looked at this game in a little bit. My cell phone recorded the conversation. Broken pieces of glass. That's a clock. <laughs> Wire tap. Receipt. And then floor plans. Okay. Right, I'm ready. I hope. This is it. If I can't prove Miss May was involved in the murder somehow... Maya will be finished. Alright, I need to press this motherfucker. Yeah, feel free to press anything, you know? Because sometimes when you press them on something, they'll add, like, another statement to the, like, the testimony. Okay, I don't think I need to press this, Okay, right? yeah. But I'm gonna do it anyways. <laughs> Hold it! What exactly is... What do you do at the hotel? Why, anything required of me, sir. I check on guests, I check them out. I clean rooms, I make beds. I even deliver room service, sir. I checked Miss Maggie personally. 
Are you always so... so prim? Mr. Wright, you are refrained from asking frivolous questions. I believe I received a call around after 8 in the evening for our guest, Miss May. <laughs> Why did she call you? <laughs> are you sure it was Miss May on the phone? Absolutely, sir. How could you be certain? I checked Miss May in personally, sir. Not only did I see her in all of her stunning radiance, but I also heard her voice. And then I heard them, and I... Uh, oh, you saw... Uh, oh, she, he saw them titties! <laughs> I, uh, um... <laughs> the point being, I remember her quite well, sir. Yes, what then? She asked for a nice coffee to be brought to her at nine on the dot. Why so specific? Yeah. Nine the dot, you say? Yes, I confirmed that the details several times. She was watching a program on the TV and wished to have a drink after she finished it, sir. Nine o'clock, the time of the murder. I brought it to her at the precise requested time, of course. Hmm. I say press it. Press everything! Precisely nine? What? Then? Fuck. <laughs> Precisely, exactly, and most definitely, sir, 9 p.m. How can you be so sure? Miss May was quite insistent that it be brought then. Oh, bellboy, tee hee, I like, like, iced coffee at exactly 9. Something like that, sir. Therefore, I knocked on the door at the crack of 9, sir. Why would she be so particular about the time? Maybe to get an alibi! And then I delivered the iced coffee to her to our guest, Miss May herself. Hmm. You're sure it was Miss April May herself? Absolutely, sir. Absolutely. Yes, sir. As in, so very absolutely, sir. I was so endearingly mannerism of mine. How come you're so very certain? Well, when I brought the room service, sir, she, the guest, sir, offered me with, um, an embarrasser, sir. Embracer. Oh, embrace. Oh, he got a hug! Embracer? Is that French for embrace? It's French for kiss, sir, but it's not a French kiss, sir. More like a peck on the cheek. Why would she have done that? I believe perhaps she has momentarily swayed by my prim demeanor, sir. It was a moment I shall never forget, sir. <laughs> Sounds pretty efficient of me. I think our Miss May was up to something and wanted a bellboy to remember her. <gasps> oh shit, is that it? That's no good! There's nothing here! Is is this it? Tisk tisk. <laughs> Finally, you understand. Miss Bellboy has absolutely no reason to lie. But now, if you have any decency, you will end this rather tedious cross-examination here. Mm. Uh, it was a bit tedious. The witness may leave the stand. I can't let this happen, can I? Well, giving, giving up is is taking an L here. Yeah, giving up is such a beta move, and we're alphas, alright? <laughs> He's right, ain't no bitch. Wait, please wait. Yes, does the defense have something to add? One last question. Let me ask one last question. Objection. Your Honor, I must object. This charade of justice has gone on long enough. Now, now, Mr. Edgeworth. All right, Mr. Wright, I'll give you one more question, that's all. Okay. This is really it. Now, this is my last chance. What do I ask him about? Check-in, room service, or bed making? It's, it's, there shouldn't be anything about the check-in. No, because it was just... Actually... Well, okay. <gasps> Wait, you know what I'm thinking? Never mind, I won't. <laughs> What do you, what well, do you remember well, well, about Well, what the I'm hotel? thinking is that there was two glasses there, so one, one, one thing about the check-in is is if she checked in with someone else. Yeah, but what if she didn't check in with someone else? Yeah, that's the thing. She could have just had, like, a guest over. Yeah. The room service, we've kind of pressed on that. I don't know what the bed making is. Well, maybe is. she got different room service. We only talked about the iced coffee that she got around 9. Yeah, and she had two glasses, but the, but 
Could those just be complimentary glasses in a... I mean, I didn't see... There was literally a dresser and a bed and a little table in a bathroom. Oh, in okay. that entire thing. Okay, okay. I want to I, I wanna say that bed making probably doesn't have anything to do with yeah, this. Probably not. Room service. Probably... Probably does. Yeah, and, and she could have just checked in by herself. So yeah. I'm, I'm going to go with room service. The, tell me again about um, room service. Uh, again, sir? Exactly nine, I delivered the room service to Miss May on room 303. The guests have requested iced coffee. $18 was the charge, I recall. I see. Hmm? $18? Isn't that a bit expensive? Yes, well, iced coffee for two, you know. <gasps> okay, we have, yeah, that's... We don't skim on the ice, sir. What did he say? What did you say? <laughs> Oh, uh, uh, rather, quite. Oh boy, tell us about- tell us the truth now. Was someone else staying in Miss May's room? I object. That was objectionable. <laughs> <laughs> Shake my head. <laughs> Objection overruled. The witness will answer the question. Uh, well, yes, I see. Why did you not mention this in your testimony? Well, sir, you, uh, you didn't ask. Nice try, dickhead. <laughs> That's the sort of thing you're normally supposed to mention. Uh, yes, quite. Indeed. It was like, it was the, um, good... Uh... Barista? Barista, then, Mr. Edgeworth, who... <gasps> he asked me not to mention if, if I wasn't specifically asked, sir. Wow, what the fuck is, is <laughs> Isn't that witness tampering? Yeah, that's witness tampering, man! Oof! You, you fool! Get this man thrown out of here! I've done it, I've won! Miss April May checked into a twin room with a man. The, the harlot. <laughs> okay, so that makes me think that... I'm pretty sure this dialogue would have happened regardless of any option you chose. Well, I only saw one Ch bed in there, so... Checked into, with a man, a twin room, mm. and we got to this conclusion from... Yeah, but I feel like service. if we asked about the bed thing, you'd just be like, yeah, I made the bed. Well, yeah. I wouldn't have told you if there was two people in there. But, but it, would have, it probably would have said it was a twin room, that's the point I'm getting at. And then it also says checked into, yeah. so I'm, I guarantee you, you could have just asked any so, of the questions and someone, it would have to do this. Yeah, someone tell us in the comments, because I, I always thought the room service was the right answer. I don't know if there was other ways of doing that. Correct? Yes, sir. Then, when you brought them room service, you didn't see that the- you didn't see that man in the room? That's right, sir. Hmm. Your Honor, we have just learned of another person involved that may have been the murderer. In light of this new fact, I hold it is impossible to judge the defendant. Would you agree, Mr. Edgeworth? And who, Mr. Wright? Who is this other person? Well, we still gotta fucking identify them. Simple. It was... <laughs> the bellboy! <laughs> yeah, it was the bellboy this whole time! <laughs> the man who checked in with Miss May. Oof! <laughs> Your Honor... As we've been previously revealed, Miss April May was tapping the victim's phone. Yet Miss May herself has an alibi at the time of the murder. However, this does not clear the man that was with her. The bellboy saw no one else in the room at the time of the murder. M my, what a convenient little setup, but it's too late. Nuh-uh. Too late? I suppose you'd like it, like it if it was too late, wouldn't you? After all, it was you who hid the presence of the other man from this courtroom. <laughs> oh, uh, upstart amateur. That these accusations are ludicrous. <laughs> it's like that She's State Farm commercial where, uh, have you seen that one? Where they're like, this is ludicrous, and then ludicrous appears. <laughs> <laughs> I need to see that. I've never seen that before. I think I you're bringing up the one who's like, well, she sounds hideous, but she's a guy. So. <laughs> no, no, no. There's, there's these State Farm commercials where, like, They'll mention something like a, they'll mention like a joke, and then like Jimmy Fallon will appear, and then they mention like this is ludicrous, and ludicrous appears. Like, <laughs> I was just like thinking of that he just says these accusations are ludicrous, and then ludicrous just yeah, appears. Yeah, he appears in the courtroom. <laughs> Enough. The court acknowledges the defense's argument. 
I expect the prosecution and defense to look into this matter fully. Am I understood? Y yes. Yes, Your Honor. That is all today for the trial of Maya Fay. Court is adjourned. Bah. We survived. Yeah, one more day of trial! September 7th. <laughs> Mr. Wright! You were amazing in there! I thought you would suck! Yeah. I thought you would throw me to the wolves by now! <laughs> I thought I'd be not- I'd be the- It's just really little guilty by the end of it. Really? Oh, she's so cute. I think I might be your newest fan. Uh, oh, I was just doing my job, you know. <laughs> I, was, I was doing the whole lawyer thing. <laughs> then again, that other attorney was pretty cool too. Huh? The face of his, with his eyes wide and trembling lips. It sent shivers on my spine. Do me too, Maya. Welcome to the club. <laughs> if you say so. So, what happens with me? Am I dying? Do I get to go home now? Um, well... No, I don't think so. Not yet. Oh, I, I see. But I got a great lead for today's trial. A lead? That man with Miss May. He's the key. Oh, I get it. What happened to Miss May after that, anyway? I heard they arrested her. I guess she learned- I guess she's learning her charm doesn't work everywhere. She probably is at the detention center now. I might have to go down there later. Anyway, this case is far from closed. Yes, sir! I'm gonna find out more about this man. Do you think he was the one who- Maybe so. Sis. Don't worry. I'll find him by tomorrow, I promise. I'm counting on you! I asked for a, a full record of April May's testimony. I thought it might come in handy during the trial tomorrow. But now I have it, I'm not so sure. Most of her testimony was all lies. In fact, there's only one part that wasn't stricken from the record. The victim dodged an attack and they ran to the right, but she was caught and struck. Okay, I'm making a point that this, that this was a, a big deal. And 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 they were like, oh, you just get you get points off for mentioning something against that. And I'm ahead of the time here. Oh, uh, maybe like she heard like what I'm thinking of like maybe she was like doing her little thing. She heard commotion, looked over, and just saw the woman going like this, like which is technically her right, and then got bashed in the head, you know, and then sunk over by the window. Maybe that's it. But that. Uh, I don't know. That, we'll figure it out! That, lo <laughs> that logic doesn't matter at all because there is... N if, if you think about it, the crime scene has all this stuff that's clearly, that's clearly like messed up on the left side of the room. Yeah, but to her it's the right. I don't know. No, it's she, not. I don't, she, was looking, she was looking out a window. The... Uh, Mia's... Maya, whatever her name is. Uh, <laughs> her back was towards the window, so if the victim dodged to the right... That would be her right as well. They were both facing the same way. Yeah. I don't know, maybe she, like, got in trouble. She saw the door and was trying to, like, evade and run the fuck out of there, you know? Yeah, but then it would make no sense. What did the dude do? She... Just go over and bash the fucking lamp? I don't know. <laughs> I can't give you the answers. He's like, he's like, he's like, oh, I better make this crime scene look 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 worse. Let me go, let know. me go kick over this lamp. I don't know, maybe might have, like, ran into, I don't know. I don't know how much of this is good for me, but I, I don't know. This testimony is garbage anyway. Anyway, time to hit that pavement and do some investigating. Maya doesn't belong in that detention center, so it's up to me to free her. Is it raining? To be continued. We should have just finished this last episode. Yeah. <laughs> is it raining? Here, you press the buttons. Let's save the game content. Different slot, just in case. Yeah, it is raining. Damn. Awesome! I hope we're not having barbecue today. All right, investigation. Yep. September 7th, 3.11 p.m., detention center, visitor's room. Ha, well, hello, handsome. <laughs> I didn't expect anyone to come visit me in such a dank place like this. It's really quite moving. <laughs> Present. <laughs> <laughs> Not you stinky liar, I hope you die. <laughs> Haven't you come to laugh? Yes, laugh at the fallen Miss May. No, not really. There's something I wanted to ask about. Fortunately, there is nothing I want to be asked. 
Haven't you done enough questioning, you, you spiky head? <laughs> there we go again. Please, you're scaring the security guard. <laughs> So, what is it you wish to ask me then? Hmm. For starters, how did you get so totally whacked? <laughs> she looks so innocent. Wait, which one is it? Oh, it's examine. Uh, yeah. uh, examine boobs. You can't, no, you can't do that. Smile for the camera. You can look, you can check up on Gary. He's a natural pro. Maybe he doesn't. See a lot of women like Miss May in here. <laughs> he sips his board. <laughs> Alright, I guess I guess that's a. Yep. Uh. You want to show her your defense badge? <laughs> hey, guess what? Actually, I um really hate your gods. <laughs> <laughs> so get lost, because well, I'm not cooperating. Thanks, I noticed. Hmm. <laughs> That man, the wiretap, but your attitude! <laughs> should I present her with anything else? I don't know. You wanna show her the wiretap? Oh, I, she's oh. just repeating herself. Okay, I assume she's just gonna do that for everything. What about. What about you wanna talk to me about your testimony? Okay, oh. okay, yeah. <laughs> if, she, if she's not gonna talk about anything about that, she's not gonna talk about anything. Yeah. Alright, that man! Or what did you say? Why are you so angry? I mean, you don't look like the, a bad person. Oh, d d does that now? Bottom feeding scum sucking lawyer? Bottom? <laughs> That's the only part you focus on? Wow, maybe Phoenix is a bottom. I can't tell, but does she have a thing against lawyers or is it just me? Why did you place a wiretap on Mia's phone? Ah, uh, when I have to say it, like, it sounds so, so cold, so criminal. Um, tapping someone's phone is a crime, Miss May. <laughs> oh, and I suppose you learned that from lawyer school. Hmm. Creep. Someone is it possible to talk to. <laughs> How about that man that stayed with you in your hotel room? Can you tell me about him? Where is he? Come on. No way, Jose! Hmm, maybe if I had something to get her to talk. Well, we don't even know who the fuck this man is. Yeah, something to talk? Yeah, how about, how, about, how about the thinker? Yeah. I don't think she's gonna say shit to you until we find, like, at least some, like, a crumb of what to talk to her about. Yeah. Watergate or. Wait. What happened to. Where, where's the painting? Where's the painting? <laughs> Should I go back and see where the painting went? Yeah, maybe. It looks so- I was like, wait a minute, something- it looks so bare. <laughs> bare. Alright, Grossberg. Oh, it looks like Grossberg is out today. Again. Maybe he's avoiding me for some reason. Oh, there- Wait a second. Wasn't there a giant painting hanging on that wall? Yeah, yeah. It was a painting of, um... I think it was a fish. It looked like a like two like a guy that was like hunting, right? Yeah. Wasn't it? Was it? It wasn't very memorable. Wait a second. <gasps> What's this? Old photos? There are two laying here. Something's been written on the pencil in back. DL. Oh, sorry. DL six incident exhibit A. DL six incident exhibit B. Let's take a look at these. I'm sure I've seen this person somewhere. That looks like it's it'd be like Maya's mom or something. Perhaps I'll borrow this photo. I'm sure no one will miss just one little photo. Might be valuable. Oh, so we can only take one? Oh, can you? I guess that way. Check the other one. There's a photo on this desk. Maybe I should switch it out. Oh, yeah. okay, so you swap the photos. Okay. Yeah, because if I take this one and show it to to the bitch. <laughs> Maybe she'll start talking. <laughs> All right. Yeah, the wood, the plant. Yeah, expensive plants. Uh, that Sanji's lighter's on the desk. <laughs> a lighter made out of gold. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, there's a there's expensive. Yeah, that's a very expensive book. That lamp. Yeah. A very expensive book. Okay. All right. 
You again? Can't you take a hit and stay gone? Hey, that's a reference to the Hazard Hotel song that came out only like a few years after this game. <laughs> hey, the only reason why I'm back here is because you won't talk to me. Oh, so that's my fault now? You don't just have some. You don't just have spiky hair. You also have a spiky heart. Hey, by chance, you have a hot dog I can eat in here? <laughs> that does it. When I get this case done, I'm shaving my head. <laughs> Have, have a look at this. Look, I said several times, I'm not telling you. Oh. Where'd you... Aha! A reaction. This is him, isn't it? What? Who? When? Why? This is him. This is the man that you stayed with in your hotel room the night of the murder. No, no, that's not right. Nice try, Miss Cop- Miss Corporate? Miss Cooperative. Miss Cooperative. My bad. D do you have any proof it was him? Hmm? Yeah, proof. Show me proof. So close. Hmm. So we just gotta- <laughs> is, there, is there more to talk to her about? That's unchecked, Ellie. It's man you stay within your hotel room. Can you tell me about him? Where is he? I'm not telling. Look, he's been accused of murder. Don't you think you want to protect him? Hmm. How about... Why... What? Would you have sold out that late Miss Faith to the cops? No. See? Damn it. <laughs> Damn it, she got me again. Good job, Haru. Shut up, Haru. <laughs> Alright. I guess... I'm gonna go back to the office and because I probably, I probably don't need the. You want to take the other photo? Mmm, actually, I have I have an idea. Okay. Wait, if he stayed at the hotel, yeah, maybe he left something behind. <laughs> Check under the under the table. Ah, oh, welcome, sir. Quite the performance today, if I dare say so myself. Oh, thanks. I just, it's a little something I pull out. Sorry for putting you on the spot like that. No, no, not at all, sir. Your efforts today were only to help the Watergate's rep, as they say. Huh? Rep? Yes, our reputation will be swell if the hotel where- As the hotel where, where the murderer used a wi- uh, what? Uh, fuck! Is, is it that hard? <laughs> where the murderer used a wiretap? Thank you. <laughs> we can charge a premium for this room, of course. It'd be great for business, sir. Oh, yeah, this is like when hotels have a murder, like a murder happen in a room, and they're like, it's haunted now, three hundred dollars a night. Yeah. <laughs> whoa, whoa, Miss May has a bitch charged with murder. I too will become famous. The bad boy who brought the murderer iced coffee. Why do I feel like we're both stuck in the same bad dream? <laughs> so you are honored guest. Please let me know if there's anything I can bring you. Can you, can you actually give me those cookies that are on your tray? They look yummy yeah, as I guess, fuck. I guess I'll talk with them first. Yeah. About Miss May. Oh, her? Sir, not to boast, but I knew from the moment I saw her. She'd do it, I say. Do what? I'm starting to think the most suspicious thing in here is guy. I wanted to ask you about the man that was with Miss May. Ah, oh, yes. He struck me as a real lady killer, if you pardon my expression. I knew it from the moment I saw him, sir. He and I had, were the same link. We both carried the scent of danger. They were... There we are in total agreement, Mr. Psycho Bellboy. <laughs> if I had a photo... Oh, if you had a photo of this man, I'm quite sure I could identify him. Photo, hmm? Ooh. Yeah, that's why, that's why I kept the photo. Yeah. Could you tell me about this hotel? Absolutely. And on that subject, I have an excellent idea, sir. Certainly, this hotel is known as the Watergate. Oh, sorry, Gatewater. <laughs> I propose that we add a subtitle. Subtitle? The Gatewater Hotel, Murder Matter. Well, what do you think? Um, sounds great. Whatever floats your tea set. Alright. Is there anything else I can examine in the room? Huh, there's water sticking out of this drawer. Oh, please leave it as it is, sir. That is the drawer of terror, hidden place of the murder of the murderer's wiretap. It's set. It's set to become one of the most popular attractions here. This guy's serious. I don't believe it. 
Ah, a self sense for painting, whatever. One of those is hanging up on the wall. There's the glasses. No clues here. Oh, wait, it was, it was highlighted. There you go. Nice weather. Oh, okay, that's the. <laughs> and Co, of course. Ah, yes, we plan on installing a telescope in that window, of, of course. Just find out us to earn yourself three minutes of a view of a kill. Just kidding, sir. <laughs> By that look in his eyes, I say he was more than serious. There we go. A bottle and two glasses are resting on the table. Why haven't he cleaned these up yet now? Ah, oh, I beg your pardon, sir. But if you could please refrain from touching those. It's part of the decor. I call it the last drink before murder. It'll be famous. The talk of the hotel's in industry. Wait, couldn't they dust that shit for fingerprints? <laughs> Recently made nothing eye-catching here. Okay. Well, I guess show him the photo now. Here, take my thinker. <laughs> think, please, think! Take a look at this photo. That's him, detective. Um, I'm the lawyer. Oh, I know that. I just wanted to say detective once. You know how it is. No, I don't know. Without a doubt, that is the man that checked in with Miss April May. How about they write a, a, a affidavit? Affidavit? I don't, I, I don't know how swearing, to. I don't know him. how to actually pronounce that word. And alf this man is way too excited about this. Yeah, fucking write it. Yeah, sure. Why not? Yes. I've always wanted to write an affidavit, sir. From henceforth, I will be known as the bellboy who swore the affidavit. <laughs> Just hurry up and write it. <laughs> Well, boys, Alpha dying <laughs> testimony. Tries a man that stayed with. Okay. <laughs> I even Miss May can play dumb to this. All right. Oh, so we could show show Miss May that, and she'll have to talk. Sorry. All I could think of was during that trial was the hotel. I wasn't paying much attention to the evidence. What do you think of this wiretap? <laughs> no. I'm... Okay. I like to imagine that, like, uh, Phoenix doesn't have... He's out again? Huh? No more photos on the desk. Ah, oh, shoot. Ah, oh, shit. Well, at least we got to see what that woman looked like. Yeah. What was the... I'm trying to remember what I was trying to... I'm, I'm, I'm actually picturing, like, you know how, like, in, like, when we watch Law & Order, they have it in the bags so they don't get tampered with or, like, evidence gets marked? I'm just picturing Phoenix just with bare hands and, like, grabbing evidence and getting his fingerprints and goo all over the shit. Can you take a look at this? What's that? You know I can't read. <laughs> the bellboy is Aphrodite. <laughs> it tells us everything he saw, such as the man that checked in with you. Who was the most definitely this guy? Fuck! <laughs> now I'm getting somewhere. Push her hard. Yeah. Push her real good! This is it, all or nothing. Time to do a little bluff. No use playing dumb, if indeed that is an act. If you don't talk, I'm taking this information to the press. Wh what? Even though he would have been witness to the murder, your little friend was missing. I'm sure the press would have a field day with his reputation. Oh, fine, I'll talk. You, you win, lawyer. Yes, man, that feels good. <laughs> it's great to be alive. Why are you pumping your fists in the air? <coughs> Now tell me about the man that you were with. <laughs> that man, he's my boss. Red White, the president of, of the Information Gathering Corporation, Blue Corp. Red White? Information Gathering? Well, I suppose you could call it a detective agency. Hmm. So this is the man that was with you with the, on the night of the murder? I'm, I'm scared to talk. I don't want to end up like her. It's okay, I just- I'll just ask Mr. White myself. Can you tell me where Blue Corp is located? Oh, okay. Mr. Red White, at last. Finally, I have a lead on this guy. If April May wouldn't have done it, it leaves him. Time to take action. Boy, boy, every day discarded. <laughs> Is there anything at the offices? 
Alright, this is where it's ridiculous. Where the heck is that loafer? <coughs> oh, he's here. <laughs> ah, that old familiar clearing of the throat. Oh, uh -huh, you again. Um, hello, Mr. Grossberg. You look very gross today. <coughs> oh, well, well. You are quite the thing, my boy. Excuse me? The trial, the trial. He was there? Reminds me of myself when I was in my youth. <laughs> Guess something got passed down from Mia, maybe. Brings me back memories, it does. Ah, oh, the days of my youth. Like the scent of fresh lemon, you see. I apologize. I... It was a bit too much for me, my boy. Seeing you today, I... Well, I... I appreciate the, the reminiscing, but I'd much rather you give me some information. Yeah, where the fuck did your painting go? Didn't he literally say that it was his prized possession, he would never sell it? Excuse me, I was wondering if you can- about this photo? Where did you get that? Give that back to once. I'm sorry, I, I've taken it without your uh, knowledge, but I have to know. Who is this man? He was most likely in April May's room the night of the murder. <gasps> what? What is that you said? Are you quite sure, my boy? What did with him so flustered, I wonder? Uh, I beg your pardon, but I must ask you to leave. I need to be alone. Oh shit, I didn't oh, get to wait. ask him. It's fallen silent as stone. I'd rather- uh, who's stone? I guess I should return that photo. Photograph returned to Mr. Grossberg. Oh shit. Well, we oh, still oh, wait, talk I, to him. Yeah, okay, I can still talk to him. Mr. Grossberg? Oh, my apologies. I need- I need to think about some things on them. Barely even glanced in my direction. Did we fuck up? Did I think you fucked up, bro? <laughs> Fuck. Oh my god, he won't talk to us! Damn it. Whatever. Wait, wait, try leaving and then coming back. Yeah, true. Yeah, go to like the, like, yeah, go there and then go back. Are you good? Can we talk to you? No. Fuck! <laughs> it's fine. What about, is there anything new here? I don't know. Well, he made time move. <laughs> Looks like Forensics is taking the day off today. Detective Gumshoe's nowhere in sight. The police really gave this place a workover. I doubt there's any valuable clues left. Suppose it won't hurt to take a look around, though. Window outside. Yeah, yeah. Nice view of plant. Movie poster. Check out one of those those. Mia's dad's perfectly the only thing messaging is Maya. What about the- yeah, what about that? The criminal leech legal. Hmm. Are there some files missing? Nah, I'm just imagining things. Oh, some of the f files are missing. Okay, that's that's useful useful knowledge. Yeah. Uh, okay, that's it, I guess. Blue court. We want to go back to Grossberg because we made time move. Maybe that. Nope. Oh, f all right. Well, I guess the only thing left now is Blue Corp. Unless, unless she has something to say. Nope. Nope. Okay. Alright. To Blue Corp we go. Oh! Hmm. <laughs> it's quite interesting. I love the ball. What's with the un the surreal decor? Oh, wait, is this a guy or girl? It's a guy. <laughs> Welcome! Please furnish me with the title of your personage. What the? Your name? What's your name? I was just inquirably asking the title that you go by. Um, right. Phoenix Wright. Inquirably? Mr. Wright, is it? Right, I see. Splendiferous. Perhaps I have intimidated you with my giantesque vocabulary? What is this guy's problem? I'm Red White, CEO of Blue Corp. You know, corporate expansion official. My business dealings bring me into contact with the elite of the elite. Do you notice anything funny with his name? So I'm afraid. <laughs> what, red white? Yeah, well, he's supposed to be like red, white, and blue, yeah. like American. <laughs> so I'm afraid I am not used to conversing with the wordily challenged. He's calling us stupid. <laughs> what a fruitcake! Hmm, let me guess. You are an attorney, fresh out of law school, are you not? That's the only explanation for why you would come to meet me like this. What does he mean by that? Oh, no matter. 
So, what business does a mighty lawyer have with a man such as myself? Yep, this guy's arrogance meter is off the scale. Yes, sir, may I examine you? What the fuck is that desk? <laughs> Guess this is supposed to be a desk? My, my, this is quite the thing. It is modeled on my body, see? Well, does its sleek furniture not inspire you? Aw. Oh. Is that one also? It's actually a man holding up the world. The blue corp sign certainly stands out enough. The model for this man is, of course, Mr. White. Truly a work of art, but probably too butacious for you to appreciate, correct? I think it's a little too butacious for just about anyone to appreciate. An impressive lineup of trophies. Judges, special runner-up, best participation. Judges Cooperation Award, Special, special good, good Try Prize? <laughs> hmm, the words judges and special kind of stand out. Now, come on, man, you gotta look at the obvious in the room. Should I talk to him first, or should I? I, I, I don't know. Alright, I'll examine. Yeah, yeah. Hmm? Haven't I seen this somewhere? Is it a replica? Ridiculosity, I have no interest in, in anything but originals. That right there is a bona fide original, worth five million for sure. Hmm. Look at that ass. <laughs> Sorry, what? Don't look at that man's ass. You wanna talk to him about anything? Talk to him about Blue Corp. What kind of company is Blue Corp anyway? Ah, excellent question. We buy and sell various kinds of information. We are a company of the future, you might say. We are the future. Sell information. In just ten years, I've built this business up into the grand office you see now. Ah, in case you were wondering, Blue Corp was named after the color blue. I, Red White of Blue Corp, as founder and CEO, named it so. Ah, shake my head. Will you do it again? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and why, you ask? Because I like the color blue, of course. Fantabulistic, is it not? How does he light like the color blue and his fucking suit's pink and he has purple hair? This guy makes my eyes hurt. Miss May is an, is an employee of Blue Corp, is she not? Correct. She was my secretariat. What a shock it was to hear what she has done. What she has done? You mean the wiretap? Indeed. She is paid to answer phones. Tapping them is not in her job description. She does gather information for us as part of her duties. But, I assure you, we do not condone illegal methods. It is inevitable that she would do this. Damn. Sounds like he was trying to turn Miss May into a scapegoat. On the night of the murder, were you with April May? Were you in ho- Were you in the hotel room with April May? <laughs> Who can say? I seldom pay attention to mundane details such as time and place. My motto is, don't worry, be happy. So, Mr. White, the hotel bellboy stated on the record that he does clearly remember you. No matter. The bellboy can say what he pleases. I still won't talk to you. If you want me to speak, put me on the witness stand. Although, I doubt you'd be capable of doing that. Hmm, he raises a good uh, question, actually. Why didn't the prosecution call him as a witness? He would have seen the same thing as April May. Oh ho ho! The police, the courts. To me, they are mere toys, playthings for my amusement. Seems about right. <laughs> that painting. Um, there's something that's been bothering me. Yes. What might that be? Your fa- I mean, that big painting on the wall over there. It's gorgeous. <laughs> Seen before? Where'd you get it? Say, where did you get that painting? Hmm, no idea. I forgot. I've, s oh. I've seen that painting before. Yesterday, in fact. Why do I find that painting here today? Mr. Wrong, was it? Right. It appears you do not fully grasp your position here. I ask again, who are you? Um, huh? A, a lawyer? No, my feeble friend. A mere lawyer. Worth nothing. Zilch. Zippo. Nada. Just like that sorry excuse for an attorney, Grody Perkin. What? Ah! Did we just get beat up? Uh, he, he punched me! 
Well, Mr. Lawyer, what will you do, eh? Charge me with assault? Charge away, I welcome it, for it is you who will be found guilty. What? Hold on, I have internal bleeding from- He probably punches with that, like, the handful of rings. That shit would've hurt. <laughs> yeah. Heed my exposition. The police, the courts, they all do my bidding. That's what you say. But I wonder, is that kind of control really possible? Yeah, just take politicians, for example, or Phoenix or <laughs> I don't expect you to understand. It is a world beyond your competition. You came here from Grody Burgers, I presume? Mr. Grossbergs, yes. Then you must ask him, why is it that this painting of his hangs here? Perhaps then he will tell you. Perhaps he will explain how a man can live life purely for personal profit. Go now, skedaddle! There is nothing more to discuss. Alright. Bitch. <laughs> well. You wanna call it there? Yeah, I think I think that's a good stopping point before yeah. we before we dive into why he has this painting, yeah. where he was at, why is he so flamboyant? Yeah, he's very flamboyant. I I thought you were gonna give him a different kind of voice. <laughs> Well, I was I was trying to give him like uh like corporate corporate CEO douchebag vibes. Yeah, I mean that's what he is. <laughs> yeah, but uh. but yeah, in the next one we'll get to see uh, what kind of shenanigans Mr. White was up to, why he has that painting. That's very important to me. Yeah. All right. Till next time. Yep. Yeah. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye.